Hello everybody, Goobity Q here, here with Fullmetal Alchemist and Broken Angel. Last we left off, we're going to Armony's house. Yay! Ugh. Okay. I'm done whining, let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Here we are! Make yourselves at home! At home? This isn't a home. This is more like a castle. Aw, that's what everybody says. Uh, we've got lots of rooms, so go ahead and pick anyone you like. Armony's dad must be filthy rich. Tell me about it. Armony, is your dad a king or something along those lines? I told you, he's an alchemist, silly. He bought this old castle cheap and fixed it up himself. That's fair. He's gotten- he's a pretty famous alchemist, too. Haven't you ever heard of Wilhelm Eselstein? Wilhelm Eselstein? See? I knew you guys would have heard of him if you were alchemists. Wait here! I'll go get daddy! No, wait! Uh, did we hear her right, Al? So this castle is Professor Eselstein's house? And that brat is the professor's daughter? I thought he didn't have any other children besides Celine. This is bad, real bad, Al. We can't let the professor see us. Come on, we've got to split now. Wait, Ed. I think it's time we face this like men. Al, we're 14 and 15. We cannot face this like men. But we have to. Our trauma has run deep. Damn it, Al. I mean, we've come across a lot of weird stuff recently. He might be able to give us some answers. I catch your drift, but he would sure tell our master about us for sure. Then maybe we'll just have to get on our hands and knees and beg the professor not to tell her. <laughs> Aw, I like gotta do any good. Hell with this. Feet do your stuff. I'm outie. Oop, too late for that, Ed. Here he come. Huh? Our knees back with the professor. Oh boy. Hmm. That's them, Daddy! Those guys are super talented alchemists, too! Is that so? Armony told me about what happened. Allow me to thank you for your. Uh? Hi! Ha 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 do. You know them, Daddy? You know what, Daddy? I've decided to learn alchemy from these two! Alchemy? Nonsense. How many times have I told you, you will not learn alchemy? I'm not asking you to teach me. I won't bother you, I promise. So please say it's okay, please. No, absolutely not. No alchemy for you. Why, Daddy? Why are you always going to say no? Why can't I learn alchemy? Because you're the Mary Sue and you have to do what I say. Because I said so, that's why. You wouldn't be able to put it to use anyway. It'd be a waste of time. Daddy, you're so mean! But how would I know without trying? I said no, and that is final. And you two are not to teach your alchemy. Is that clear? Daddy, you're so mean! You've been telling everyone in town the exact same thing, haven't you? Omni. Daddy has important matters to discuss with these two. I want you to go up to your room. But wait, Daddy, I'm not finished yet. I'm 16. You can't do this to me anymore. You are still a child. Sit the fuck down. Go to your room, Omni. Daddy! Don't make me tell you three times. That's when things start exploding. Alright, fine. Let me know when you three are done. I will. See you guys later, I guess. Bit. <laughs> well, this is a surprise. It's certainly been a long time. You're Izumi's disciple, Edward Elric, correct? So you remember, huh? Long time no see, Professor. Awfully uh, harsh on her, aren't you? <sighs> You're hardly one to dispense parenting advice, Edward. Who's this in the armor? Oh, I'm Alphonse, the younger one. Good to see you again, Professor. Ah, Alphonse. Yes, yes. Omni told me what you... 
Well, I guess I should thank you first. You helped her out of her danger twice, she says. Omni is taking a liking to you boys. But the friendship shall remain at that. You are not to teach her alchemy. Do you understand? Well, it's not like I was chomping at the bit to teach her, so that's fine by me. But why don't you want your daughter learning any alchemy? She... She just doesn't have the talent. I know she'd only be disappointed, that's all. But talk about a surprise. I didn't know you had another daughter. Was she adopted? No. Omni is a... She's my biological daughter. So she's Selene's little sister. I guess she kind of actually looks like Selene in a way. Speaking of Selene, we found out about her at the church. Uh, I... I prefer not to speak about Selene. It hurts to remember. The pastor told us what he knew. I, I bet there's a story you're not telling us. Well, I suppose you boys have an even better one. Edward, is that a prosthetic leg or an auto male? And Alphonse, is there anyone inside that armor? How, uh, how could you? I could tell by the sound of your footsteps. So, what did you attempt? Human transmutation, I'd assume? <laughs> and... He saw right through us. I knew he was an ordinary world guy. I mean, he has a German accent despite all of us being in Germany, but jeez! Um, Professor, we'd appreciate if you didn't tell our master. <laughs> you mean Izumi doesn't know? Don't worry, I have no interest in your personal affairs. As long as you don't get involved in my personal affairs, capiche? Uh, capiche? Uh, Gesundheit. Ed. Hey, Professor! <laughs> uh, we heard a lot of rumors before we came here. Is it true you built this town? No, I did lead the effort, but it was built by all of us who came as refugees from High Scott. This was a group effort. I, I don't deserve all the credit. But you put out a call for alchemists to gather here, correct? That's not true either. Those outlaws come here on their own and end up with nowhere to go. Some are criminals on the run, others are ex-state alchemists. Security is worsening by the day. We kind of passed through the old high school on the way here. It was a real mess. It's all because of the chimeras, isn't it? I wonder who could have made so many and why? I don't know. They just came out of nowhere one night. I'm delving into that matter myself. Say, boys, I hear you don't have a place to rest tonight. The trains won't be running for a little while. You're welcome to stay here in the meantime. Really? Thank you so very much, Professor. I'll have someone show you to a room. Greta? Margo? Are you here? Oh. Hello. <gasps> yes, sir. Hello. Did you call, Professor? Ah, oh, both here. Very bad. Allow me to make the introductions. This is my research assistant, Greta, and my secretary, Margo. This is Edward and Alphonse, they're most talented alchemists. Uh, alchemi- alchemi- I'm sorry. It's been a while since tea. Alchemists. Hello, pleased to meet you. I, uh, 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 how do you do? Margo, would you like to take these two to uh, one of the guest rooms? I, I need tea. I apologize. I'm all over the place. Would you two like any oolong or grey? No, thank you. Nah, I'm good. Do you have any tea cakes? Oh, Edward! What did I just say? Alright, I'll set up some tea cakes. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, this way, please. Please use this room during your stay. It's easy to access and provides a lovely view of the castle. Thank you very much, ma'am. Don't hesitate to ring me if you need anything else. Good day, gentlemen. Oh, wait, miss. You know, you look familiar. Haven't we met before? You think so, too? I don't think this is the first time we've met, either. 
Well, I, I think you've mistaken me for, for someone else. <laughs> really? I can almost swear I've seen you before. I, I, I get that a lot, actually. Good, good day, gents. Hmm. She looks like someone we know. Who am I thinking of? Ah, never mind that, Ed. What do you think about the, what the professor told us? I think he's a sack of shit. Well, I don't believe all of it. I think the provider's provi provider. Maybe you did need that tea, Edward. I don't like tea! Ugh. Professor is still hiding something from us. Yeah, me too. What will we do? Looks like we have plenty of time to investigate. You're right. I guess we can think of something while we help the prof with his research. Catholics have a lot in common with the Philosopher's Stone. We just might learn something new. Speaking of which, are you going to teach alchemy to Armony? Fuck no! The professor told us not to, didn't he? Yeah, but I just feel bad for her. The professor has his way of doing things. We have to respect that. He's letting us fucking stay in a McFucking castle, dude. I know, but I'm I, I'm an empath. I know you are. Well, I'm sorry, Al, but I've got to catch some Z's. Wake me up when it's nighttime. Okay. Try not to drool on the pillow too much, Ed. Thanks. Is that boy a state alchemist? I'm sure you've heard the rumors surrounding the Elric brothers. The older one, Edward, is known throughout the land as the Full Metal Alchemist. It's the title of the anime. We're in an anime. Well, technically, we're in a video game, but... Is that so? So that's the Full Metal Boy. No wonder. Izumi didn't want apprentices, but made an exception for them. They are very capable alchemists. If they really are so capable, perhaps they can contribute to our research. You don't mean the chimeras. Sauce boys, too? There's no use for petty sympathy, Professor. Your true affection isn't for those boys, anyway. We shouldn't talk about this here. Let's go back to the lab. We could expect some dramatic results from those two, couldn't we, Professor Eselstein? Hmm, <sighs> who's really pulling the strings here? Treasure chest. Hello, boys. I hate to do this to my guests, but I have a favor to ask of you. A favor? What's up? You see this flower? I want you boys to, boys to go out and pick as many of these as you can find. Hey, it's the same flower that Armor Armony had the other day. This is the best catalyst nature has to offer. The ether flower. It can dramatically improve transmutation speed and efficiency all by itself. It's indispensable to my research. Wow. A amazing. That's a dangerous flower, then. Sure, there's an inherent danger in the rebounds it can cause, but that's the kind of power I need. The problem is that it's hard to cultivate and preserve. I always have to go pick them by myself. But I have other business to attend to today, so I might ask you to pick some for me? Oh, yeah, of course. We were meaning to help you out somehow, right, Ed? Uh, yeah, that's right. So, uh, where, where are these things grow? You should find them near the stone yard where you met Armony. I'm counting on you boys. We'll do our best, sir. Stone yard, huh? Alright, All right, let's head on out. All the way back to the... Uh, gross. Oh, not in the cave again. Okay, we should almost be at the stone yard. We should be careful, Ed. There's still many there's so many chimeras around here. Hey! Wait! Wait for me! <laughs> Did you hear that, Al? Oh god, don't tell me that's I sense a Mary Sue. My name's Armony, not Mary. Close enough. Wait, wait up! Phew! Phew! 
finally caught up. <laughs> Army? Why are you here? Why am I here? I was going to learn alchemy from you guys, but neither were you were in your room. I heard they were running an errand for daddy, so I came after you two to have, like, help out. Uh-oh. What should we do, Ed? Do? We're not going to do anything. The professor specifically forbade us from teaching her alchemy. What? Oh, come on, Ed. Come on. I'm baby. No, Alphonse is baby. You're annoying. Ed, aren't you being a little... A promise is a promise. Let's go, Al. Ed, wait a minute. Ed! Edward! You're so mean! I hate you! I'm sorry, Armony. I didn't think Ed was such a heartless guy either. Hey, Al? The professor didn't... Hey, Al. Hey, Al. What? I'm, I'm right here. Sorry, I was trying to get my line right. The professor didn't tell us to stop Armony from teaching herself, did she? Did he? If it means that much to you, you might pick up a few things by tagging along with us and watching. I don't fucking know. Um, and does that mean? Yay! Thank you! Thank you, Ed! Don't touch me. Ugh, enough of that. Come on, Al! <laughs> See, I knew you were a sweetheart, Ed. You could use a little honesty, though. Shut up. I didn't like that. We could just leave her here. Just thought she might be useful to have around when we're trying to find all the ether flowers, that's all. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Anyway. Oh, Jesus, there she is. Let's get a zoom in on that face. Ugh. You remind me of Yuko from Tokimeki Memorial. A what? Nothing. You're too young to remember that. Well, technically, so are you. Save point! Yes. Fucking hate the caves. Did we go up here? No. no. We did not go up here. Oof. That's a nice shortcut. Oh boy. Come on, y'all. We're skipping this shit. Stop following me! But you smell nice. No! Ah! Digimon! Fine. It has been a while. Ow. Armony just fucking cowers. You're fucking useless, Armony. Okay. You're fine. Hey, Ed. Do you know where you're going? To the stone yard. I think we're headed in the right direction. Are we? Mm-hmm. We should be able to find a bunch of those flowers there. How come we can't grow them? They need to be in the wild. Or else it just they just kind of wither and die. I don't really get it either. Maybe it's like the dry aridness from the stone yet. I don't know. Hey, Armony, weren't you picking flowers here the other day? Yeah, I'm just trying to help Daddy because I... Seem to get on his nerves all the time. Ha <laughs> ha. The professor does seem to be a bit harsh on you. Yeah, but he used to be nice. He would even teach me alchemy before. Aww, it's kind of cute actually with the shit. I remember how Daddy would always compliment me whenever I, whenever I learned something new. But one day, I can't remember precisely when, but I, I got a fever and was bedridden for days. I always got sick a lot, so this is nothing new. But once I got better, Daddy wouldn't let me practice alchemy ever again. It was the alchemy use that got you fucking sick, wasn't it? 
That's also around the time that Daddy started being mean to me. Probably thinks I have no talent. No, he's just worried for your safety. I, I think he stopped teaching me alchemy because he figured that I was hopeless. Well, I want to prove to Daddy that I'm not hopeless. That's why I have to master alchemy. I see. But you know what, Armini? It doesn't take talent to improve your alchemy. The basis of alchemy is frequently to change. The more effort you put in, the more your skills improve. Like a certain someone we know, right, Ed? What? Oh, what are you two blabbering about? I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at this frog. I see. Then I'm gonna have to put in more effort, just like that certain someone. Right, Ed? Stow it, you two. That's enough chit-chat. Better get moving. Okie dokie. Another save point. Never hurts. Never know when some bullshit's gonna happen. Right in this area. The fastest way would probably just to be drop. Drop. Hey, you! Ow. I've gotten so strong that it only does one damage. Holy shit, it's a Pokemon! Thank you! Here. Like this. Boo! Fucking snake with wings. Thank you. Nah. How about this? Nah. It's not so bad now. All right, let's get the fuck on. Hello, Digimans! You're not even a Chimera! You just have fucking armor on your arms. Take this. Nice. Alright, let's jump. No one cares, Armony. Meh. Fuck it. Let's go. Ow. Where is he? There he is. I was trying to do a special, but I guess fucking not. Well, they're dead now. Thank you. Here we are. Here we are. We should be able to find plenty of those flyers around here. Is that so? And where exactly are they? I just told you, they're all over the- Huh? There isn't one flower here. No way! How can that be? They were growing all over the place just a few days ago. Maybe we're in the wrong area. That's impossible! I bet other alchemists came and picked them clean. 
because it's such a good catalyst. Demand for the ether flower is high among alchemists. Well, I guess we'll just have to find them elsewhere. Know any other areas, Armony? Mm, I don't think there are any other places besides here. Wait, maybe those guys in town would know. Those guys in town? Oh, you mean the alchemist and new high scart? Yeah, those guys should be in the know about that sort of insider information. Can't hurt to ask. I'm not crazy about the idea, but I guess we don't have much choice. Let's head back to town. Yes. Damn it, I don't want to go in there. <laughs> Hate this place. Hate that new high scar. Sucks. <laughs> well, we're in ten town again, but what do we ask? Hmm. Anyone who might have decent skills. Uh oh. Huh? Oh, it's you fuckers again. Uh, you again? No, 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 you guys. <laughs> Like, I need you to remind me, Blau. Let's make tracks. What? Hey, where are you going? We did kick their ass. Oh, that hurts. When you just take one look at us and jet off like that. Damn, what I do? Not brush my teeth. What are you doing, you guys? We gotta go after them. Uh, why? Oh, yeah, duh. Those guys would know where we can find the flowers. Duh is right. Look. The three of them just split out in the time we were talking. We've got to run them up. Let's hurry! You bet. We're not gonna let them get away from us. Come on, Al! Uh, y yeah. I, I guess. Wait. Aha! I knew it. So I might do it here. Just because I don't know when we'll get another chance to have another save. So again, another little bit of short episode, but there is a lot of fucking content in this one. Whole lot of whole lot of lore dump. So I'm I'm happy with that fact. So next time we gotta round up those fucking brothers in this town I hate. And those brothers I hate. There's so many things I hate here. Hate's just a really strong word. Shut up, Al. You're an empath, and I get that, but I have the concept of hate on my side. Uh, Edward. <laughs> me too! If that makes me cool, I guess! Shut up, Harmony, no one cares. So, <laughs> that's gonna be it for me. So, yeah, have a good day, everybody. Bye! Bye! Bye-bye! Bye-bye-bye! Harmony, shut up!